Dear viewers, welcome to Noorsat Satellite Station and Telelumir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella inaugurates the House of St. Anthony El Badwani in Amman. After the stabilization of the epidemiological situation, prayers in the Latin Church return to their normal state. The Arab Tourism Organization congratulates His Majesty the King on the victory of Madaba as the capital of Arab tourism. We also have Arkman Dreit Saba Hurani as a new member of the Primitive Church Court in Jordan. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings, and as he habitually does every week, Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where he pointed in the interview that His Holiness gave from Paul's the Sixth Hall in the Vatican to the apostolic pilgrimage he made to Budapest and Slovakia, calling on believers to maintain prayer and repentance in their lives, to find it in the peace and joy that God desires for them. And he said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims present today wish to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. The Holy Father will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to all children and young people, the elderly and the sick. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, my recent apostolic journey to Budapest and Slovakia was centered on prayer, roots, and hope. Above all, it was a pilgrimage of prayer framed by the closing mass of the International Eucharistic Congress in Budapest and the celebration of the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows at the Shrine of Shashtin in Slovakia. Prayer, witness and reconciliation are especially important for a Europe where the sense of God's presence has become weakened. In the Divine Liturgy celebrated in Presho, we recalled the deep roots of Christian faith and life in those lands, grounded in the evangelizing efforts of Saints Cyril and Methodius, and often forged by the experience of suffering and martyrdom. Throughout my journey, I saw signs of hope for the future, in the enthusiasm of the young people at Košice, in so many young families and many quiet examples of charity and concern for those in need. In my meetings with our Jewish brothers and sisters, with the followers of other religions, and with the Rom community, we stressed that the path to the future must be traveled together in a spirit of fraternity. I am grateful to all who made my journey possible, and I ask you to pray with me that the seeds we have sown will bear much fruit. His Beatitude, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Pier Battista Pizzabella, inaugurated the Mar Anton al Badwani House for the care of priests in the Sofia area in Amman. And on this occasion, his Beatitude presided over a divine liturgy in which Bishop William Shomali, Bishop Salim Sayer, and the Charge d'Affaires of the Papal Embassy, Monsignor Mauro Lalli, along with a number of priests and a crowd of believers, participated in. His beatitude indicated in his sermon that priests serve people in all the years of their lives, but they need one day to be taken care of, giving thanks to Father Aton Hremat and to the parish of the Virgin of Nazareth in Swafiye. We are celebrating today a beautiful day, important day for the life, for the life of the church in Jordan. A parish, parish of Swafiye, decided to build a house for the retired priest, the elderly priest, uh, in order to express their appreciation for their service for the life. Usually the priests give their life to the community. Today the community gives back something of what they received, the Eucharist, the sacraments, their service. And this is a beautiful example of how the church works and the life of the church. Thank God, thank the Holy Virgin, we are here to celebrate this beautiful event. Which took upon itself this project and completed it to the end. And after delivering the word praising this blessed deed, Father Hrimat addressed a speech in which he indicated that this house is a fruit of the contributions of the parish of the Virgin of Nazareth, where they presented it as a token of love and gratitude for the efforts of the venerable priests. 
On the other hand, his Beatitude, Per Batista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over a divine liturgy on the occasion of the eminent end of His Eminence Bishop William e. Shomali's service in Jordan, and his move to the Patriarchate's headquarters in Jerusalem. Patriarch Fuad Atwal and Bishop Salim al saigh participated in the Mass, and the Papal Charge de Fer, Monsignor Mauro Lalli, and the group of priests of the Latin Patriarchate, deacons and nuns. Bishop Shomali gave a speech in which he thanked the attendees and said, We will remain one family, whether we serve in Jordan, Palestine or Galilee. And before the conclusion of the Divine Liturgy, Patriarch Pizzabella gave a brief speech in which he thanked Archbishop Shomali, who put himself in the service, the Church of Jerusalem, wherever the need arises. Father Hanna Kildani also gave a speech in which he referred to two main qualities Bishop Shomali possessed them, honesty and simplicity. On the other hand, during a ceremony organized by the General Secretariat of the Christian Educational Institutions in Jordan, His Beatitude Patriarch Pizzabella honored two students who excelled in high school results in addition to a number of teachers in appreciation of their giving in the educational field. The Orthodox Church held a service for the Sunday Mass of Matthew the 13th, which takes place liturgically on the 13th Sunday after the glorious feast of Pentecost. And on this occasion, His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, Metropolitan of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, presided over the Mass service in St. George's Church in northern Hashmi, where His Eminence called during his homely to exchange God's love with thanks and gratitude. A number of priests and group of believers participated in the service. The Latin Patriarchate has returned prayers in churches to their normal state, after the epidemic situation has become more stable and contained. The Patriarchate considered in a statement issued by it that it is possible to return to normal practices during liturgical celebrations and added that this means that now we can return to normal exchange of peace and the normal distribution of Holy Communion. Under the umbrella of the Federations of Religious Orders in Jordan and in cooperation with religious bodies and the German Agency for the Improvement of Water Use Efficiency Project, a training workshop was held in Amman, in which they presented the initiatives that would be undertaken by the various participating parties with the aim of reducing the problem of water scarcity in Jordan. The Union's Secretary Sister Cecile Hjazin of the Sisters of the Rosary participated in the workshops and a number of representatives of the Federation of Religious Orders in Jordan and representatives of the German Agency. The President of the Arab Tourism Organization, Dr. Bandar bin Fahid, congratulated His Majesty King Abdullah II on the occasion of Madaba Governorate winning the title of Capital of Arab Tourism for the year 2022. Dr. Bandar said that the relentless efforts made by His Majesty contributed to the reaching this achievement. A royal decree was issued appointing Argument Dride Sabah Hurani the spiritual head of the Karak Governorate as a member of the Primitive Church Court in Jordan, affiliated to the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem, and this appointment came to facilitate to our spiritual children in the south of the kingdom, where a special office was established, affiliated with the ecclesiastical court, in order to help the people with their legal transactions, such as inheritance, guardianship, ratification, and others where these transactions will be completed without the need to review the court in Amman. The Church of the Exaltation of the Cross of Her the Latins in the town of Rumaymin in Al-Balqa Governorate held a festive Mass on the occasion of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. The Mass was presided over by Father Farah Hjazin, priest of the Latin parish in the town, in the presence of Father Riyad Hjazin, priest of the Assumptions Church of the Latins in Salt and 12 nuns of the Holy Mother Teresa, and a large number of parishioners from Amman and Fahis. Father Hjazin emphasized in his sermon that the cross is the key to life and our spiritual weapon. It is a sign of the victory of love over hatred. We should be proud of this cross, being it the cross of love, forgiveness, hope, strength, and victories. Supplications and prayers were raised that may God preserve our people and our country in its security and stability, under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah II and the Hashemite family. The liturgy was concluded by distributing pomegranates to the attendees. A new website has been launched on the stage of the Teresanta School in Jabal al under the management of the Franciscan Sisters, Missionaries of Mary, and with the support of the Papal Mission in Jordan. This site helps teachers of Christian education in schools and educational centers to prepare the topics for religious meetings. This site was named John the Baptist Center for Christian Education. 
Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Patriarch Pizzabella inaugurates the House of St. Anthony al Badwani in Amman. After the stabilization of the epidemiological situation, prayers in the Latin churches return to their normal state. The Arab Tourism Organization congratulates His Majesty the King on the victory of Madaba as the capital of Arab tourism. Arkman Dreit Saba Hurani, a new member of the Primitive Church Court in Jordan. For more details, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.